And then I'm also sad because a dear friend, Frank DeFord, passed away uh, yesterday. And, uh, you know, for those of you who don't know who Frank is, uh, two words that I can probably use to describe him, and you've met him a few times. One would be dignified. The other one would be elegant. Uh, he has been a friend and a mentor for years and years and years. I met him back in 1989. He was speaking at a dinner. He lost his daughter, Alex, to the disease of cystic fibrosis at the young tender age of 10. Uh, he spoke so amazingly that I decided to get involved in the fight against cystic fibrosis while I didn't have any kids at the time. Right. That's how powerful his speech was. And uh, lo and behold, two years later, and fate would have it, uh, Gunnar was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. And Frank has been some sort of a... I guess a mentor, kind of I tried to follow his footsteps any way that I possibly could. And and certainly we lost a great friend in the cystic fibrosis world and also in the sports world because he was a great writer, uh, terrific on NPR, if you like that sort of radio, uh, great on HBO, Sports Illustrated, just uh, what I would consider uh, like in, in all types of broadcasting, wherever he was, he was dignified and eloquent. And there is, uh, you'll never find one person in this world that would ever say anything bad about Frank DeFord. No, yeah, listen, from uh, from that from that standpoint, uh, it's, very, it's very rare that someone in the media uh, is uh, regarded in the way he was, respected by the men and women he covered, respected by his peers, and uh, just one of the uh, you know last of a dying breed of iconic writers that transcended you know the medium in which they worked for. Um, obviously, started the National. That's right. Um, which uh, had a, a, few, a multi-year run and is regarded as one of the great American sports writers, not just of a generation but of all time. And I know you were close to them. He's been on our show before to talk about you know kind of you know cystic fibrosis and his life and uh, you know, sad and, by and, his and, loss. and a big thank you to HBO because they allowed him to basically take a segment of their real sports program and kind of, you know, I, I would say it's not shamelessly because he and I have a unique connection and people didn't really know of that connection. Sure. And uh, they allowed us the 20 minutes to tell our story as who we are and what our lives had turned out to be because of the disease of cystic fibrosis. So uh, they gave us the platform. We used it. And um as Brian Cumble uh, was introducing the uh, the spot, and I, I rewatched it again last night just to kind of get myself thinking about Frank uh, once again, and, and uh, I, I just thought it was just an amazing, amazing job by them and HBO.